Okay, in question 11, we're doing the uh, very similar reasoning um, that was done in previous problems where we're looking at, um, we're looking at comparisons here, okay, where we have m different units, okay, and not only are the units different here, but they're also given in different quantities. So we're, we're doing a comparison of units, okay, and then we're also going to have to do plus um, some dimensional analysis here. Okay, so this is a really um, um, common type of application because in the first case here, we're trying to compare which store has the better buy for bananas, but each merchant or each business has chosen to market the bananas using a different method and a different um, calculation of weight and in and, and, and terms of cost. So we don't know by looking at those three numbers, whether a store A, B, or C is the better buy for bananas because they're using different measurements for mass, okay, for each of, um, for each of the sales. So we have to have a common unit in order to compare things with. Okay, so the very first thing when we start to look at this is we notice we have units of pounds, we have units of ounces, and we have units of kilograms. So if we're, for in us for order to um, to work this through, we're going to we have to know what is the common relationship for ounce, for pounds, ounces, and kilograms. So we have to start by writing down some of our equivalencies. Okay, and these are the things that you're going to have to maybe look up um, somewhere if you don't know them offhand. Okay, so for example. Um, if we are looking for, one of the first things we, we would need to know here is what is the relationship between pounds and kilograms? Okay, so one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Okay, so you have to know that or you'll have to um, look that up as, as a unit, okay, which is a fairly common conversion, okay? Kilogram is roughly tw to double the, the number of pounds. Okay, but we also have this other unit here of ounces, okay, and we need to also know how would we convert ounces because that's a unit for mass, um, but it's typically more related to, um, to pounds. So we know from looking it up that there is, in every one pound of mass, there is 16 ounces of of ounces a smaller unit it takes 16 ounces to make up one pound okay so those are our first two um, units that we need to use because what we are going to have to decide is how do we want to express these units in terms of figuring out um, you know what we want to compare okay and then the other one here we have here is um, we have ounces which can also be a, a measure it's a measure of mass or weight uh, but we're using it here as as fluid ounces so that's in this case it's a measure of volume but then we have liters and then we have gallons okay so we know from our previous conversions that um, one gallon and this is a US gallon because there is cheese a different one an imperial gallon um, is 3.79 liters that's one of our other conversions and we know um, we're using um, mass here. Um, so we have 16 ounces is equal to one pound. Um, so that will let us convert into, into pounds and oh here and we were told here because one of the things we have to to know is like what's the equivalency between volume and mass so we have here one liter is equal to one kilogram okay so that's true basically for just water but these are our solution the apple juice is like a, a water solution so it's close enough that one liter of apple juice would equal to one kilogram so now that we have a relationship between the units that we're, we've got listed here, we can go ahead and start making some comparisons here. So let's just look at how we would work for the first one out here with the bananas, okay? So the first thing you gotta decide is what unit do you wanna compare it with? Because we wanna get dollars per, 
some unit of mass. Okay, um, it doesn't really make too much of a difference which unit you want to work with. You can convert everything to kilograms, you can convert everything to ounces, um, you can convert everything to pounds. So ounces is typically the smaller unit, so if it, sometimes it helps to work when you're having a smaller unit because then we can kind of figure out which is the, 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 the most amount, which is the least or most amount of money for the smallest unit. So we can say here store B is 15 cents per ounce, okay, for bananas. All right, so we know how much that is. So what we're going to do with store A now is we have to convert um, dollars per pound into essentially dollars per ounce. Okay, so we're going to do 4.48 dollars, okay, and that is for every two pounds of bananas. Okay, now we want to get ourselves to ounces. Okay, so we know there's a single step here conversion. Pounds to ounces is 16. Okay, because what I want to end up having here is I want to put ounces on the bottom and I want to have pounds, get rid of pounds, and I want to have dollars per ounces. So what we have to cancel here is the unit of pounds and then we're going to have the unit of ounces. So we know one pound is equal to 16 ounces. Okay, and then that will give us, if we multiply this out, we're going to have $4.48. Okay, divided by uh, 2 times 16, which is 32. And that is going to give us 14 cents. Oops, 14 cents or 4 .0 0.14 dollars per ounce. Okay, so right away we know that store B is more expensive than store A at this point, just a little bit more. Okay, so then what we have to do is we've got to look at store C. So we have $4.98 per one kilogram. Okay, now remember, we want to get our to our ounce unit here. So I have to get dollars per ounces. So the first thing I have to do is I got to get rid of the kilograms. So I'm gonna put something with kilograms on top. And the only unit in my equivalency table here is I know how many pounds there are per kilogram. Okay, so I know one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. But remember, I wanna really get to ounces, but we know already from the previous step that we can get rid of pounds and put ounces on the bottom because we know one pound has 16 ounces in it. Okay, so this is gonna take two two ratios to, to convert. So we're going to have $4.98 on the top. Okay, 4, 4 8 times 1 times 1. Okay, and then we're going to end up dividing by 2.2 times 16. So we have to do the 2.2 times 16 first on the bottom, get an answer, and then divide that into 498. And then the answer you'll see here is that I get 0 0.14, and a little bit more than this, 1414 dollars per ounce okay so this is just slightly more expensive than a so store a here is the best buy overall it is the cheapest just fractionally cheaper but um, 0 0.14 is less than 0 0.1414 okay so that's how you would look at calculating the uh, the bananas one so we can say that's cheaper now if we're going to look at the apple juice one okay we have to sort of do the same thing okay and we can convert and figure out what we're what we're looking at here so again i'm just going to pick ounces because it's a small unit so ounces here for for a is a dollar 43 divided by 10 ounces okay now we want a unit per ounce so this unit, if we just divide the numbers through, we're going to divide both sides. Um, we're going to divide uh, 10 into $1.43. That is going to give us the value per ounce. Okay, so this is going to give us $0.143 for every one ounce of, of apple juice. Okay, and, and ounces in this case is going to be the volume. Okay, so then we look at B. Okay, and we're being charged $8.92 for every 1.75 liters of apple juice. So our goal here is to get, to get the liters into a unit of ounces. 
Okay, so the first thing I need to do is get rid of um, the leaders. Okay, so that means leaders has to go on top. And the only thing that I have from my table here to convert leaders with is into kilograms. Okay, so we know it's one liter for every one kilogram. So that's our first step to get rid of the units. Then we have to get kilograms into ounces. So we know we want to cancel kilograms here, but our only conversion for kilograms is going to be into pounds. Okay, so one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. That'll get rid of that. But we got to get going one more step because we have to get rid of pounds and we have to be left with ounces. And we know there's 16 ounces in one pound. Okay, so to do this question here, it's just going to take a little bit more to convert this through. We have $8.92 times 1 times 1 times 1. So that's just $8.92. Okay, and then we're going to divide it by 1.75, but we got to multiply it by 2.2 first and then times it by 16. And that's going to equal, uh, if we round it up, 10.14. I'll open it to four decimal spots. 0.1148 dollars per ounce. Okay, so right away we can see that um, store A is a little bit cheaper. Okay, it's a little 0.143 is less than 1.448, but we don't know about C. So C is 23 dollars. Okay, per gallon. Okay, so we have to do the same kind of thing. We've got to get rid of gallons and we got to go to ounces. So I'm going to cancel out the gallons by putting it on top. Now we look, go back to our table and we only know that it is one US gallon is 3.79 liters. Okay, so this is going to be this. Now I've got to get from liters and I have to be able to move this into ounces. So I know if I want to do this properly, I'm going to cancel liters and I'm going to convert this into kilograms, even though it's one to one. Okay. And then from kilograms, I'm going to go to pounds. Oops. I want to cancel kilograms. Okay. And I'm going to be left with pounds. So one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. And then we know one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So this one's taking a little bit more conversion steps to do here. Okay, and then when I work this one through, I will have 23 on the top. Okay, divided by one times 3.79 times 2.2 times 16. And that is going to give me dollar or 0.172 four dollars per ounce okay so of the three which is the cheapest one here it is going to be store a okay for the apple juice so in both cases our value best value here is store a okay so this is how you work through this a question like this it's uh, it's a little first part's not too bad because we're just converting um the weights But then when we get a little bit more complicated because we've had to do two or three steps, okay, and this is the way that you can like really formally prove how much a value per one unit is, is going to be a value in another unit. Okay, and you notice we just picked ounces. Ounces is not a unit that um, we would use to measure um, large amounts of material, okay, because it's a it's, it's kind of a small unit and it's not really practical for selling for food items or anything, but you can still see that the, the calculation works this, this way. You can still see which one is the smallest value. Now we could have picked any unit. We could have picked, we could have turned everything into uh, liters. We could have turned everything into kilograms. Um, you will still, and you'll get different numbers, different dollar costs per unit of value or per, uh, for each thing for a unit of measurement but you will still be able to determine which would be the cheapest. And in the end, the values would still be the same. So we would have store A would be the both in this case. Okay, so that's how this question works. Um, 
This is, a, again, this is a fairly powerful technique. It's, you know, where you, you cancel units and you have to look to see what you're canceling and you can convert virtually anything to anything as long as you know the basic equivalencies and you can chain all these ratios together. All right, so that's how that question would, you would solve that question completely.